Hello and welcome back uh, to the Unforced Error. Um, I wasn't. I was going to do a last one, uh, recapping the two finals. Um, but after the women's final today, I thought it would be wrong, um, not to take a moment and review it, uh, on its own, um, because it was absolutely amazing, and it would almost be a disservice to just loop the two finals in together because if the one tomorrow was great often you can forget about uh, the earlier one and stuff when you look back in the weekend and I just want to take a moment because this morning uh, we saw two hours and 28 minutes of absolutely spellbinding tennis uh, a three setter uh, a great comeback a great champion probably the best game of the tournament uh, which rarely happens uh, in a final funnily enough and one of the best uh, women's finals I can remember um, in recent years uh, for many reasons. And um, so it, Sabalenka uh, beat Rybakina uh, in three sets, six four three six four six. And I just want to start off with Rybakina first, um, who played an amazing game. And the first set in particular um was absolutely amazing from a tactical point of view. I don't think she did anything wrong. I don't think she did anything wrong for the entirety of the game, really. But the first set, she was actually unplayable, and she did have a her. What's interesting about the servers? There'll be a lot of talks about the servers, the servers, because they're both. It's probably the both two of their like finest assets. You know, her first serve on average, was actually bigger than Sabalenka's, even though you wouldn't think it. Now, Sabalenka's second serve on average was bigger, but it's the way she returned uh, Sabalenka's power in the first in the first set that act- absolutely killed her. It was the timing of her shots. You know, sometimes it was very little drawback, and she seemed to be pushing uh, Sabalenka's power all all the way back on her. Um, um, but she was a class act from start to finish. It was more Sabalenka growing into the game, finding out... <clears throat> you know, figuring out her game um, that ultimately led her to the title. Um, but I just want to say, Rubikina played probably better than she did uh, when she won Wimbledon, in my opinion, and was an absolute class act uh, in the interviews after in the press conference. It's it's very hard um, to understand what that must be like, talking to the media uh, straight after a tough loss. And it was a tough loss, and she fought very hard, and she saved a couple of match points and multiple break points, and... Uh, she settled into the game very early and is a true champion and uh, we'll see lots more of her, um, no doubt. Um, but moving on to Sabalenka, um, the serve, you know, considering it was the serve uh, who did her disservice last year and was the cause of the yips and the kind of mental um, breakdown that happened, had on her game, uh, for the serve to be the one for her to serve it out uh, was very uh, poetic or cinematic or whatever you want to call it and you know she started off uh, with with uh, uh, multiple serves uh, out to double faults and on one of her match points she served a double fault but it was her composure um, that ultimately led her to win the game at the end of the first set when she was pretty much outplayed you know, you could see she was at boiling point and before she would have tipped over and started expressing herself in a in a very colourful way. But uh, she held it all together and um, she settled in and she was brave on the first serve and she's brave on the second serve. You know, the woman is relentless. Uh, you know, if the first serve doesn't work, she'll go right back at it in the second serve. You know, she stays true uh, to what her game is and talked a lot about self-belief and you know how that you need self-belief in her game to be hitting uh forehands backhands and the serves at at them speeds consistently and uh it's to be absolutely admired and i'm really really happy for her um her so as i said rubikina's first serve on average was uh faster but uh sabalenka said the second serve average was much on sabalenka's side and uh she stayed true to who she was and uh, true it all you know you know it was far from boring far from boring and uh, an absolutely amazing win and i think it's one of those wins that remind us why we love the sport you know this woman 12 months ago was down and out putting underarm serves um her coach at one point was going to leave her she did, he didn't know what to do you know to get over this uh, barrier but she went away 
um, put in the work and slaved away and comes back an even better player uh, than she was and uh, it's important to note like through that period last year she was still fighting you know when she couldn't serve she was still fighting for every point and made it through a few rounds and and it's that fighting spirit um, that served her through but it was so impressive her composure you know she lost a lot of big points as well and had a multiple goals at match point you knew it wasn't going to be straightforward with Sabalenka you know it never is and, and that's why we love it you know that's part of uh, her and her appeal and uh, it's absolutely amazing to see uh, that the belief and the hard work um, paid off and it was a very emotional win uh, you know I apologise to uh, any of my neighbours uh, who heard me shouting at half ten in the morning uh, at the TV but it was just a great great game two great players and a great champion I really really just wanted to praise this woman uh, for all that she's come through and it just shows you know the, having the courage to be who you are and you know stay the course stick to it and it can lead to great things and uh, I think we have a fantastic champion and if the men's final is half as good as that uh, we won't be complaining so uh, all hail Sabalenka and uh, yeah an amazing amazing final and uh, couldn't couldn't say enough about them so we'll stick to the men's see you then